You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building from Love & Hip Hop. Which one is Love & Hip Hop? Hollywood. 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 <laughs> Masika. Hello. I said it right? You did. Okay, Masika. <sighs> I don't watch any of them, so I don't know what's going on And here. the new season just started. It so. did. And we were surprised to see that Fetty Wap is actually going to be on there. I have to say, when I first seen the trailer, I was like, dang, because a lot of times people aren't able to get certain people that they have kids with that are as big as Fetty Wap to be on something like Love & Hip Hop. Yeah, well, we were working on uh, co-parenting and, you know, working on our relationship. And, you know, he agreed to do it to be supportive at first. Oh, you got kids with Young Fetty? We have one. That's your oh, daddy. <laughs> yeah. I can see why he would shoot that club up. I mean, I can yeah. See why he would do that. <laughs> now, you were on I Seven Lives Exposed? Yes. What wow. the hell is that? Yes. It's, a, it's, it was, like a, it's on Playboy. It's like where yeah. it's, they put a bunch of people in the hole. Shelly, calm down. No, 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 no. That's not the same one. That's not the same. No, it's two different ones. Oh. So that was like <laughs> from like the 90s, like real world days. You was naked on there? When I was a kid, uh, I used to watch it all the time. Almost. They used to put seven people <laughs> in, the, in the house and they all. Wait, you watched it when you was a kid? When I was a kid. Really? Yeah. We didn't have porn back then. That's all we had. Did your mom walk in on you? She did not walk in on me. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Okay. So what? What seven lives? It, it's two. It's two different ones. So the one that I did, it was Playboy's first scripted series. They were working on changing the network to something more like a Showtime. So it was supposed to, and and this is definitely not the same. But it was supposed to be something like a Power, but it wasn't written as well. Oh, you got oh, recent nudes. Um, no, that's that was like two thousand. Oh no! When I googled Mashika Kalisha nudes, you I, you googled the nudes? Yes, I did. It says. It says something about Youngberg leaking them or something. Hold on, my computer's nah, running a little lie. slow. <laughs> that's a lie. Nah, it's not. A, it's probably not news. It's probably like close to nude. But I mean, you get that on Instagram, right? Oh, yeah. I gotta well, let's get let's get into some of Masika's oh, history because I know Masika for quite some time. Also, before all of this love and hip hop drama, yes. <laughs> so you started off on love and hip hop dating Youngberg. No, Berg. No, actually, I, I didn't. I started off single. Okay, you're um, single and yeah. you guys. Nobody wants to claim Young Bird now. <laughs> <laughs> you claimed him when he had that record out. Not what record? So um, I don't remember. Kid, anyway. Uh, that kid, no, that wasn't him. That was Ray J. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. I can't even remember what Bird. What record Young Bird he had? He had a record. But record. hold on, but let's hey. be clear. Berg has written no. and produced a lot of stuff for no, people. No, no, not, not to take away from what yeah. he's done. I mean, I don't have the man's resume, so I can't tell you one thing he I'm did, but I'm pretty sure he's done something well. Sexy Lady. Yeah, it's not to be. Sexy Can I. Feature Ray J. Listen. It's called Sexy Can I. The sexy lady. Sexy oh. can I was Ray J. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. sorry. Oh, Bird. yes. That's yes. the homie, too. But yes. <laughs> you got a baby from Youngberg, too? Absolutely not. No. Why would this is her yeah, first child. Sure. I got yeah. one kid. She's four months old. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how many bad decisions you made in your life. I made That's a lot so. of bad decisions, okay. but I'm still here, so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's talk about, now, how did you end up joining the cast initially a Love & Hip Hop? Um, okay, so funny thing, I woke up one day and two of my girlfriends sent me a screenshot of a boss up write up mm -hmm. about uh, love and hip hop. I'm like, bitch, if you're not on this show, we're not being your friends anymore. And I'm like, I wouldn't do that show. I, and then I called my publicist. Right. And at the time, um, he he wasn't my publicist. He was actually working on the show I did, Seven Lives. He was um, working with the producer. And then I saw that he was kind of, you know, with reality stars. So I asked him to get me in. And uh, he kind of set up an interview. I went to meet with Mona. She told me I was absolutely crazy and I got a contract. That's how it works. It was really that. You date Molly Ma? No. You didn't date Molly Ma? No. Yes, you did. You Molly did date Molly Ma. Molly Ma. Here's the thing. I, I didn't even know Molly. Let's be honest. Okay. Let's be they, honest. That's how they set it up. Like that you were. That's how he tried to set it up. Okay. So what Molly Ma now? Molly so, Molly Ma, the Ma, one that was not hip hop legend. Not, Molly Ma. Oh, absolutely not. No. Molly Ma that was dating Miss Nikki Molly. Baby. Yeah. That so, was his. So girl. basically, I'm so lost. Molly got my number from Justin Bieber. Okay. And he was playing on my. Sex with Justin Bieber. Listen, I said he got my number. How'd Justin Bieber he... have your number? Because I gave it to him. Okay. Oh, oh, shut oh, young <laughs> Jay. Did he hit you in the DM? JB. He actually did. <laughs> wow. He actually did creep in my DM. Wow, did y'all this up? was No, this was Twitter days, like back before okay. like Instagram. Uh, this you is like hilarious. Uh, listen, he actually had somebody DM me on Floyd's page because I followed Floyd and I didn't follow Justin. Oh, so you thought it was Floyd DMing you? No, I know Floyd. I knew it wasn't Floyd DMing okay. me. Like, me and Floyd are cool. Like, that's my homie. So Floyd smashed too? What, what, what part what? of homie? <laughs> this is disrespectful what? now. What part Every of time she the only thing Floyd smashes in the ring and ain't got shit to do with me, that's my homeboy. Got we, you. That's okay. my people. He gives great relationship advice, I, I, which is really ironic because he has a harem. Yeah, you got to step thinking it every time she says she knows someone. He actually, he actually gives me amazing, amazing advice. What's the advice? Get down on my harem? <laughs> no, uh, nah, nah. Okay. He, he told me that a man can do for you what he aff can afford, 
And if he won't, then that means how he that shows how he feels about you. That's so, real. So you know, that's kind of how to gauge it. Like if he can't do this, but he can do this, and he does it, cool. If he can do all this and won't, then he. Ain't that's great advice, actually, because if you okay. can like a, afford to give a girl the world, you'll give her the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you you'll, can't, then you'll give her like tokens of your hey. appreciation that show you love her. You and, know it's, and, it's, and it's not always back. money either. It's like, you know, it, Time. yeah, yeah. Oh. Whatever he can afford to do. If he does not do that, then you just wanted a bitch. Eat your ass. <laughs> like groceries? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so you and Molly Ma never really for real dated is what you're saying. No, On the show, it was... basically it was an... Uh, uh, I, I was single when I first mm -hmm. um, got hired, and he wanted to be on as my producer. Um, at the time, he was like, oh, I'll bring lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. I'll get you with this person and that person. I'll have Chris Brown doing dances in the background. And I mean, I don't know sh I'm new to this show. I don't know what's going on. It sounded mm -hmm. good to me. So I was like, cool, let's do it. And then he tried to turn that into dating and went to the whole, oh, I love you, love you, thinking that that would get him on as a cast member. It did not work. Right. He was awful on camera. And we actually ended up kind of um, not shooting with him for a couple months. And then he popped back up with Miss Nikki like, okay. in August. And we had started filming in January. And you dated Drake. What? Okay, I'm just asking. I'm no. Just asking. You said, oh, yeah, that picture. There was a picture of her. Oh, that picture of me and Drake. Asking. No, no, no. Picture of you and Drake? No. Yeah, there's a picture Drake of me and Drake. Smashed. He absolutely did not smash. Tell him about. It's a cute picture. It doesn't it look like one of those she like. posted it. I guess it was a. Oh, yeah, um, doesn't look smashed. like one of those like high school like you know nah. pictures. That's what we we're going for with that you picture. Put, you used to call me on my cell phone. It's, it's a song. A song. It's nah, nah, nah. Based off a true story. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, actually, we never did, and that's the funniest thing because everyone always assumes that. that smash. Yeah. That's a close picture. You There's certain people you take. Well, a picture we were, with we were trying to take like an Olin Mills picture because we were matching. Mm. So that was like the goal of the picture. We thought it was you know funny and ha ha, and everyone's like, oh you. Yeah. No, actually. Drake and Trey Songz, you take a picture like that, people are gonna think you smash. Well, I wouldn't take a picture like that with Trey Songz. <laughs> yeah, I see you selling that flat tummy tea. Look, hey, listen. <laughs> she had a baby. She I just had a baby. Way, you look great for I had a baby like a baby. yesterday. Okay, hey, look, give me my well, waist trainer, Spanx, flat tummy tea, anything. Yeah, no tape on glue. I have on everything. I am taped, glued, and pinned in this. Movie. It looks good though. It's <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What about man? Gucci Mane? You dated Gucci Mane? No. Jesus you slept with Christ. Gucci Mane too? Oh, listen, okay, right. I gotta listen, keep first of all, oh, hold on, hold on. first of all, here's the funny thing. Here's what tricks me out about, about people. They see me with one person, like, oh my God, this, blah, blah, blah. I really legit know everybody. I started off doing music videos in Atlanta when videos were mm -hmm. popping. Video and, Vixen. Yeah, okay. and that was back like when I was in college, when we were actually getting paid money to do it. Mm -hmm. And I met so many guys and so many of their managers and teams and producers and whatever, and I've kept close relationships with these people, especially all of the Atlanta rappers. So le legit, I'm friends with or associates with almost everybody. And everybody seems to think if you know somebody, then they know your vagina. Right. <laughs> and that's I mean, not yeah, true. It don't matter. But I mean, you know no, what I, I mean, can do that. I can do whatever I want to do with yeah. my vagina. However, yeah. don't put my vagina in somebody else's lap when I haven't. Got you know what I'm saying? There's another thing. I think as a female, as soon as you take a picture with a guy, people, yeah. Now Charlamagne took a picture with Drake, and he got mad when he didn't come to work, and everybody made fun of him for that. But <laughs> I, I think it's, I think it's not. Yes, you did. But I think it's not fair that guys could take a picture with another guy. Exactly. And they cool for that. But if you're a female working and you take a picture, exactly. with somebody, Automatically, oh, you smash. Oh, oh shut you up. Smashed. She probably smashing, man. God damn. Who cares if you smash? The only thing I smash is my daughter's sweet potatoes when I puree her food. Okay. But you got to look at the way people look at it, right? They're like, okay, Fetty Wap. New artist, hot singles out right now. You let him hit. So why wouldn't you let Drake hit? He well, got more hit records. Okay, but it's not. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> so so are we are we like gauging who we hook up with by what they've done? Well, that's yeah. how, or or who they are to us? Well, that's because that's yeah. how Charlemagne thinks. That's, that's the truth, though. That's, that's how like, why he wouldn't you smash I mean, that Lord. might be true don't, for don't certain people. <laughs> I'm not. I, I don't like men. Justin <laughs> Bieber. That's, who that's, said I smashed any of these people? He's saying, and then why you gave it up to Young Berg. I mean, you know. Listen, I was doing my job, okay? It was your, what, your <laughs> prostitute? No, well, no, 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 no. No, filming with him was my job. Oh, okay. Filming with him and was my comes, job. Sex comes with that? Who said that? So you didn't have sex with Young Berg? I didn't say that either. Oh. All right, now, let, let's, let's, now let's get into <laughs> what happened with you and Young Berg, because there was a lot of drama. Yeah, what? Right. Yeah, Masaka. No. Masika. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Masika Kalisha, thank you. Masika. That is my real name, by right, the way. Okay, go. so let's get into your relationship with Youngberg. Now, from what I heard, Youngberg was originally supposed to be on the show with uh, Bow Wow's baby mom. Yes. And that didn't work out. Yes. So then somehow you guys ended up dating. Completely by accident. You and Bow Wow? 
No, no really? Young Bird. Bird. Really? Bird. You was gonna oh, put another okay, one in okay. there? Let me write that one no. down. No. Wow. Originally, uh, Berg was dating Joy, mm-hmm. and I don't know what happened uh, with them in filming, but halfway through filming, there were people that released people that were hired, which is when Nikki came and Molly came back. Um, but Molly was never actually hired. He was a free hoe. Um, anyway, a free so hoe. Okay. yeah, <laughs> free hoe. Nikki got hired. Just got paid. But cool. So somehow throughout the season, there was so much drama going on, and um, I really didn't know anyone that well. I met Berg years before, so we ended up being like besties. Mm-hmm. Like we would hang out at each other's house and just drink every day. Everyone thought we were dating. We weren't. So no one believed us. And our own, like our chemistry was just awesome. People think that me and him just popped up like episode seven together. We had actually filmed so much together, but when people were released from the show, they had to delete all the footage. So all the footage that we shot, we were talking about Joy or talking about this person, that person, all that had to go. So I looked he- hella shady, popping up episode seven, like, oh, you with the, you never, no, we've been hanging but out you every did day. date Bird, because then there was Towards an incident the end. where yeah. you guys were in a hotel room and there was a domestic assault charge on him you against you. You put hands you. on him? Should have. No, he put hands on her. <laughs> oh. What? Not necessarily. And that's, why, and that's why he no. did, but I feel like he admitted that in court. Something <laughs> it, it, happened. It, 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 something did happen. So basically, this is, and this is the part he keeps lying about. After the reunion, uh, we're there for hours. Everybody's drinking and we just lit. And, um, you know, we hadn't had any food for the whole day. So we went out with one of our producers and, and some other, uh, her kids who actually were working on the show. And we sit down. He orders a round of shots for everybody, another round of shots. We order the food. Food comes. He's like, all right, let's go. Take, wrap it up. Take it to go. And it was like, wait, well, we, we just sat down. Like, our food's not even here. He's like, well, I'm ready to go. And it was just like, okay, well, we want to sit down and eat. So he gives the guy his card. His card gets declined. Oh, Ooh, damn. That's the worst. Now, it could have been because we're in a different state. It could have been because there was nothing in that it. That happens all the time, though. Not Who knows nothing. why? It, it, it could, could be declined because, you know, how it could be any reason. call because yeah. Yeah. Call yeah. these charges America correct. It, right, could be, it could be any reason. But Cart got declined, and he literally gets up and hightails it out, the, the restaurant. And Maybe he saw Mano or Trick Trick walking in. Y'all were in New York? It could have been Mano. It was, it was in New York. Might have been Mano. You might have saw Mano outside. Nah, he didn't see nobody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so he got, so he got up and high tails it out in the restaurant. So I'm like, yo, what, what, what are you doing? So I follow him and everybody's following me. And he hops in a cab and I'm like, are you serious? He just ran out. And of the when I he, like, he peaced out so fast. Man, well, a man will only do what he can afford to do for you. So maybe you know what? Listen. Time... <laughs> so when did, the, when did the fight happen? So um, it wasn't a fight. Argument. It wasn't a fight. He it was, slapped you. No, he didn't. It he was a, you. it was a girl fight. Um, he pulled he my hair. You. He pulled, pulled your hair. hair? You get arrested wow. for pulling girls' hair? But it, it was it was a lot. But you no. were bruised up though. No, I wasn't. Not at all. No, nah. you didn't have no marks on you. I right? mean, maybe if I hit him, I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't really remember. Was horrible on you. I just I don't, want to tell you. I don't really. Horrible. I don't on too you. much remember. No, I remember when this I don't, happened. I don't really too much remember. All that's I know, why he's not on the show because of that. Yeah. Incident. All I remember, I got back to the hotel room and we had separate rooms, but I went to his room and um, I threw the food at him and then we just got into this crazy argument Ooh, and well, that's how, pretty much what. How much did he pay at Applebee's? I've never been to Applebee's. Oh, you ain't never been to Applebee's? I mean, when I was a kid or whatever. <laughs> I ain't been there since I was old enough to pay what for something. What kind of food was it you threw at them? Uh, I think it was mac and cheese. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So how did you get up with Fetty Wap? How did you end up with Fetty? So um, I went to a club. He was hosting a club that night. In New York? In Atlanta. 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 I'm lying. In LA. Okay, LA. It was a club next door to where I used to live. And uh, I walked in. I sat down. He walked up to me. I remember when That's you guys first takes? started dating because Fetty Wap was up here and I asked him about it. As a matter of fact, we Play had that. Play some of it. You yeah, got we the had audio? that audio. Play the audio we'll, we'll real quick. Find it. We gotta find it. You were up here that day? No, but I did see it. You oh. saw it? Yeah. I was like, aren't you dating? It, I'm going to tell you well, what made it really awkward was I didn't know. The girl with him? girlfriend was in the, the girl. Well, the girl of the day? Yeah. Yeah. His yeah, girlfriend yeah. was actually in there. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I find out all this stuff. Well, hey, let's listen. Well, you had a girlfriend, Alexis Skye, and then you were messing with Masika from Love and Hip Hop as well. No, I wasn't messing with Masika. Damn, yeah, how you doing? Because I be on the blogs. He's business. Yeesh. Are you saying that's not true? It wasn't you and Masika? Yeah, somebody looked like me. Man. How does that make you feel? Um, well, at that point, <laughs> at, at, at that point, we had already broken up. Okay. Oh. So, so basically, I was pregnant then, mm-hmm. and nobody knew it. Um, Did he know it? Of course. Okay. Yeah, he knew the second mm-hmm. I knew. Wasn't he denying it at one time that it was his? Uh, when I when I made my announcement, he did say some vomit from his mouth like that. Did yeah. he get the blood test? Uh, first of all, I I asked him to take one multiple times. He didn't need one. Like there was never any confusion, never any doubt. Um, How you know? Because we had this conversation, uh. and uh, you know he's apologized for that 
several times. But at the end of the day, I can't speak on why he did that because I don't put words in a grown man's mouth. So you would have to ask him why he said that. I still would have got the test. Not no disrespect to you, but just you never can be I'm too not saying sure I, I'm not saying I didn't one. get the test. Yeah, oh, okay, he did okay. get one. But he, it wasn't him that wanted it. I demanded it. It's gotcha. But the, you said you knew it was his regardless. Oh, absolutely. That's why you're like, get the test, because I know. Yeah, like I, I asked him several times. and he. By the way, the baby came out, or you, that was the only person he was having sex with? Yeah, that was the only person I was sleeping At with. At what point did you let him hit it raw, though? See about that. Yeah. That was an accident. Immediately. The condom <laughs> there was no accident. Nah, no, there was no condom breakage. That was a complete, like, 6 a.m., 5 a.m. wake up. Roll over. Yeah. I'm still asleep kind of situation. He, said that he felt like you set him up. Like, you came there to the club to meet him. I did. The whole thing but was... I, but I didn't she come... Said I did. No, no, I did come to meet him mm-hmm. to do a record with him. Uh, you do so, music? Yeah, we actually have a record together called Underlay. He's a singer. So this is what happened. So this is this is legit what happened. So, so you're I, an unsigned artist. You went to the club to meet Fetty Wap to get a record. Well, okay. When you say, like, not not exactly. Let me tell my damn oh my version. God, God, so listen, the club is next door to my house. I lived at the W in a, in Hollywood. You lived at the W? For four years. You making money, Listen, yo. that's what I'm saying. Don't that play right. with me. Um, they, got they got residencies at the W? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got some bread, though. Yeah. 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 I, I have a house now a that costs way more now, but, you know. You okay. selling that one? Flat tummy tea? Listen, flat tummy tea is new, okay, and I'm working on it, all right? It's my hustle. Damn. Oh, that's yours? My hustle. That's your hat? No, but it says my hustle. Oh. You don't know what the hat says. It's on your desk. You're making your money to stay in the W for four years. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. So, anyway. Go ahead. You're selling vagina, be honest. Absolutely not. Never have. Mm-mm. Cause I need, if I if, if I if if I was selling vagina, I would not be at the W. I'd be in the hills somewhere. Ooh, honey. you have you a house, <laughs> house what helicopter, house? My house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not be in a condo selling vajayjay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you were at thank w. you. <laughs> the club was literally next door to my house. I I could walk there. Like mm-hmm. you couldn't park closer than I could walk. So I just went to the club and I'm sitting down. And he was performing. And I told my girlfriends, I'm going to do a record with him. And they're like, okay, bitch, whatever. And um. He just walked up to me and said, oh, you're Masika. And I'm like, yeah. He was like, oh, well, he knew who you were already. He did. You rap or sing? Sing. Uh, sing. Sing. Sing a little something. Okay, la. Anyway, so um, let me get my story out. Okay, okay. <laughs> let me get my story out. So, um, you know, he was talking a little bit. And I was like, hey, this is great, but I'm a businesswoman. Mm-hmm. I would love to pay you for a record. And he kind of stopped and, like, laughed at me. And I'm like, well, what's funny? And he's like, you want to pay me for a record? And I'm like, and then what you do? He's like, uh, yeah, but I've never had a girl offer to pay me. I'm like, well, what? Like, what are you supposed to do? I want to do a record. I'll pay for it. So he's like, nah, I'll, I'll do it for free. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Wow. He's like, I've never had a woman offer to pay. I've had girls like, yo, you can do it. Yo, hook me up. You don't need it. He's like, but you're the first person to approach me. I'm like, I got you. So we exchange numbers like that. And I'm like, don't be just be doing the club talk. Like, because mm-hmm. we in the club and it's, and I'm cute or whatever. Like, make sure you do it. He's like, nah, I'm like, legit, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, he left, went to his hotel, went home. We ended up, like, talking on FaceTime. And he ended up, like, spending the whole week with me, like, every day. That's dope. And um, I went to, like, all the clubs he hosted. I went to the studio with him. We was at his concerts. And he actually didn't do the record. And How long did it take him to smash, though? Not that long. <laughs> Not that long. I like your style, <laughs> Not that long. Day, week? Day. Yeah. Damn, I like your yeah. style, I mean, And honestly, like, that's the quickest I've ever slept with somebody. Okay, um, Fetty, we see you. However, <laughs> you however. You at the time. He was all over had the nothing, radio. Had nothing to do with the verse. Okay. Had absolutely nothing. We have the same birthday. We act just for, like, What's your we, birthday? June 7th. So you guys You're had a Gemini. lot of chemistry. Early yeah, we on. we hit it off very well. And then mm-hmm. he actually didn't get to record the the record. He was leaving to come back here for a concert. He changed his flight and was late for his show to to do the record with me. And then you know we just kept seeing each other and talking and blah blah blah. And the craziest thing, I always get blamed for this. Shit. Like he posted the video of me and him. Like bo- I remember that. on on his on mm-hmm. his Snapchat or whatever else. And it was like, oh, she did this. She did. Why well, did it? He well, posted I did it. it. He, I would have never said anything. But you were okay with him posting it. Yeah, he I was, told you he didn't just do it. Yeah, no, no, no. Right. I'm, I was definitely okay with him doing mm-hmm. it. But I, like, I've dated people that you would never know. And then like the people that I actually like post pictures with, I haven't dated. Like, I don't, I don't expose my holes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, keep, yeah, yeah. I keep my holes yeah, undercover. Holes, uh, yeah, undercover. So you keep your holes. Undercover? I keep my holes undercover. Okay, right. <laughs> so like the picture with, if I dated Drake, I wouldn't have posted that picture. Mm-hmm. You know, I like my business private. Gotcha. If he didn't post that video. I would. No one would ever even know, knew. So, and that's when all the drama started. That's when all the drama those started. Situations where you thought y'all was dating, but he was just smashing. Nah, he wanted to get a house together. Like we had a realtor. Like I, okay. everything. I know you didn't. Be- Do you believe him though? Did you believe him back? He then? gets a house with all his bitches. What you talking about? Oh, I was <laughs> this like, one gets one in this day. But I mean, of course, I didn't know about all of that. A then. man only gonna do what he can afford but, to do. Yeah, <laughs> but here's here's the thing, right? I mean, because let's let's be honest. I'm I live in L.A. I was already 
moving into a bigger place. So he's like, well, why don't we just get a big house together? Because he's on the road. He's hardly ever going to be there right. anyway. So I was like, sure, why not? Like, instead, when you come here, instead of having to get a hotel, and then I'll be here most of the time anyway. So, like, all this was his idea. So you got, you thought in your head we're in a committed relationship. That's what he, that's what he requested. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, we like we can just be light. You know, it's no pressure. But he was like, no, I'm not with anybody. There's nobody. Whoa. I don't have a girlfriend. There's no one that can think that they're my girlfriend, like, the whole night. After smashing after just a day, he wanted to wife you? It was more than a day. It was a, <laughs> two days. It was a week of. It was a couple of weeks, maybe, that he wanted to do that. <laughs> that's quick. <laughs> Well, I mean, and that's, you felt it too, though. You were here's down. the thing: like, it's it's not abnormal for a Gemini to do things like that. Mm-hmm. That's abnormal. Did y'all have sex on your birthday? Was it? That's what it was. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when did the ish hit the fan, so to say? When I got pregnant. Okay. Did you know? So as soon as you got pregnant is when he cha- switched it up. Mm-hmm. Did you scream "Got him" when he hit it raw and shot your club up? I screamed, "Don't do that again." Too late, man. Nah, it only one down. time. He could do it all. Well, no, it was, no, it was multiple times. Oh, it he was kept multiple like times. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. Actually. Wow, the you never up. will. You never will. Like, just come at me. Just come at me. I've never said that before in my entire life. <laughs> really? Absolutely not. So you didn't. You wasn't on a pill or nothing. Um, no, and I told him that. But I, I ended up trying to do preventative measures, which I had Bambi. to do, I, which I did a few times. The morning after. God bless yeah. you for being I, I, a dirty no, I, I had to now, do that. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is some. This is some nasty. Sh- and I don't. No, it's not. But at the end of the day, like this is this is I've never been in this situation. I'm very careful. I'm an adult. This is your first child. It is my first child, and this is not like my the first attempt. Okay. How many abortions have you had? Zero. I don't believe. You don't have she said to use the morning after pill. You oh, plan B. You don't. You don't have to believe me. How many plan B pills have you taken? Ah. Uh, See you there. <laughs> so you killed about seven babies. Stop nah, it. Nah. Now who nah. put that poster of you on uh, the billboard up you? That said thought. It wasn't real. Oh, that wasn't. It was real. a prop. Oh, it was a prop. It was, show. it was a prop. Yeah. Okay. It was a prop that, that somebody now. that somebody did, but um, I didn't appreciate it because it, even though it wasn't a real billboard, it was in a real location, and they actually picked to put it around the corner from the Boom Boom Room where everybody records. Mm-hmm. So it went, situation went left. Trying to mess up your career. Situation went left, but the 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 thing that made it so bad is after it was taken down because I didn't I didn't follow my cast rules that day. I might have punched somebody in the face. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Um, but after the billboard was taken down, there were cast members that were upset that no one saw it. So they took a picture and posted it. Oh, wow. And it went viral. So it did go up? Uh, what, like, not, it wasn't a real billboard. Oh, a real bill? okay. they, just, they just posted it on their social media gotcha, page. Gotcha, gotcha. Then all the blogs picked it up thinking that this was a real billboard. It was up for like two days for a prop. Uh-huh. So no, that was never so real. So now you and Miss Nikki Baby are cool, though. Yeah. How did that happen? How did how did you guys end up making up? Because on the show, it looked like you guys really couldn't stand each other after Molly Ma, after all the stop you business. You threw a drink at her. Yeah. How did how did that happen? Well, actually, from the beginning, I was trying to tell her, yo, like you're you're stupid. This dude is using you. Mm-hmm. Like he he doesn't want to be with you or me. He wants to be on TV. Like like he wants to be on more than the girls want to be on. And she was believing what he was saying, but he needed her. He first he needed me, then I kicked him to the curb. Right. Then he needed her. And then in order for that story to live, we you know whatever. So I didn't even know her or care about her at the time. But it was just so annoying that we ended up not liking each other. And it really had nothing to do with him because he was nobody to me mm-hmm. at that point. But when her brother passed, like, I felt a certain way. Um, I reached out to her because it was, like, I don't care, enemy, friend, whatever. I, that's, I couldn't even imagine. So, you know, I kind of, I reached out to her and sent my condolences. Um, when she found out I was pregnant, she reached out to me. And, you know, we talked a little bit, but then, like, her and her mom sent me, like, a, some some gifts for the baby. And then it was just like, you know, we're grown. At right. the end of the day, we're both grown women. You're a business I woman. I'm a business woman. Neither one of us wants. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And and a, and a sleazy sleaze ball at that. So we ended up having a couple conversations. Like we actually have a lot more in common than than either of us thought. And she's actually a real cool chick. So. And you're actually friends with Nia Riley also. Yes. On the show now, her and Soldier Boy have been going at it. Are listen, you concerned listen. about her? He's pulling out guns and talking about coming after a guy that's. You know, but some people are saying it's all just for the show. And that's the crazy thing. Like, people think everything we do is for the show. Now, one thing I will say, um, two of the castmates did some, like, fake drama, like, with me and Monice the other day. That was fake. I woke up like, what the hell are you talking about? Mm -hmm. That was for the show. Like, if you hear something about somebody that you ain't heard since season one, then it's for the show. You're coming back. Yeah, but, like, this is legit that happens. It just so happens that people only care about it during showtime, maybe. Mm -hmm. But this is something that Nia and Soulja have been doing for for as long as I can remember. What so, advice do you give her about her relationship? Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, I, I just tell her that she, you know, I think she should personally uh, leave him. Like, at the end of the day, 
a man that disrespects you he over and over. He just did a four hundred million dollar deal. You don't leave a man that just did a four hundred million dollar <laughs> deal. Show me the receipts. I know he was lying. <laughs> I don't want to believe that. Nonsense. Show me the receipts <laughs> in my Whitney voice. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but um, you know, and and to double back to the situation with me and 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 Fetty, like you know, people like to say things like, "Oh well, you know, he didn't want you." He didn't. No, absolutely not. I won't allow you to disrespect me multiple times. So. After you let, you let him come in you multiple times. Well, okay, he wasn't disrespecting me then, now was he? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so like if you disrespect me and you can apologize, that's cool. But I'm not going to give you the opportunity to do it over and over and over. Because that's again. on you after that. Yeah, because yeah, now now we've established a pattern. Now you know that you can walk all over me and I'm gonna let you come right back. Mm-hmm. So so we're not going to do that. So when you allow someone to do that to you multiple times, they're going to keep doing it and keep pushing and keep pushing and get worse and worse and worse. So, I mean, I can't say how they are together because I, I haven't really been around both of them at the same time. All I see is the social media stuff. Soldier's always been super nice to me. Mm-hmm. She's always been super nice to me. And then together is just, oh, I don't know. Is that your real body? Huh? That's your real body? Yeah. These, these boobs aren't real. That's real, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my, my daughter gave me that. <laughs> she What's definitely your did that. What's your with Fetty now? Um... It's it's hard to say. It depends on which way the wind blows. It seems very mm. back and forth because there's some days that uh-huh. he's you know you guys are great together. He's being a great dad. You're yeah. co-parenting. Man, then they, there's some they days are in, in love. He, did, he some, did the reality TV show. There's no way you're doing then that. Then there's show sometimes that you, you say he's like a, a deadbeat dad and you guys. I've never have, said that, but well, if, if that that's how you want to interpret it, that he's not coming to see his daughter at all. I think his priorities in the wrong place. Yeah, he yeah he's still lost. It's so sad. I want I wanted to buy him a navigation, but you know. Was last time he smashed? Um. Before I got pregnant. Oh, that was the last time he said Absolutely. Oh, wow. He definitely still likes you. Y'all still like each other. Because there's no way I'm doing a reality TV show if I'm Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap I mean, popping he, out and here. Here's the thing. Like, I mean, we had a... when Things got crazy. Let's say that. He did come back and, you know, try to make things right. And I do commend him for what he did. However, there's still more issues. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, my priority is my child. I don't know what his priority is. Is he supporting monthly? Is he giving money monthly? Oh, he does it on his own. Mm-hmm. He does it on his so own. So no need to go to court. And get nah, I, I don't want to go to court. He doesn't want to go to court. I never wanted Nobody to go to court. To the only thing I wanted to do is legally get a petition for him to demand him to take a paternity test. That's the only thing I wanted to do with right. court. So there's no question. No. Nah. Right. Now about this singing career, can we hear something? Um, I have some music if you want me to play. You can't sing right now? I, I can, but I'm Let's not going to. Why? Because I don't want to. Why? Because... Why? She, the she world no. is watching. Well, I just don't want to. Aww. <laughs> Shut up, Did you Sean. say aww? <laughs> <laughs> now, what about your relationship with uh, Fetty's other children's mothers? Um, I haven't met any of them You yet. haven't met any of no. them? Because they all seem like, I don't know if they're cool with each other or... You know, I, I stay out of it. Mm-hmm. I really don't know. Like, I don't concern myself with things that... I don't know. But what That's, about your kids? You want your Do you want your daughter to know, like, her brother? Oh, absolutely. And... Absolutely. In due time. And I feel like, you know, that is... Uh, Willie's responsibility to to do that. Mm-hmm. So you know, I don't I don't know any of them, and you know, I just you feel like it's important to know them though, just because your kids are going to end up being together at some point. Do you feel like at some point I need to meet these? Women? Yeah, at some point, uh, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Let me ask you a question. This is going to sound a little crazy. If somebody stabs you in your waist trainer right now, would you feel it? With what? <laughs> That's what I don't know. That, that was the question. <laughs> if they stab me with what? <laughs> I was going to ask with um, <laughs> Freddie Wap with with his eye problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Right. Damn, really? Eye problems? What? For real? Well, he had glaucoma in his eye. He had an eye problem. He did. Eye situation. So with you having a child, does that make, did you look DJ into- DJ special coming up, right? <laughs> Forget <laughs> it. Forget <laughs> it. Because if I had a child okay. with somebody who had- Never mind. Right. No, no, no. That, that's a legit question. question. No, I, I, I did. I, I definitely See? did. No, I did. For real. I, I talked to my doctor about it. I asked him, you know, is it hereditary? What can happen? Uh, without him talking to, to Fetty, he couldn't exactly tell me. Right. He did, you know, say a couple reasons why it could have happened. And then later on in my pregnancy, when Betty made a return, uh, we went to the doctor's appointment and he talked about it with, mm-hmm. with the doctor. So uh, was determined that it's not a genetic thing. Oh, good. Uh, that's all I want to know. We should play some of her music. Cool. You want to play I just want to hear a song. Yeah, yeah I want to hear you that. You got it? Yeah. Let's play that do real I. quick, man. She said, do it. It's I. a lot of... Uh, Have you, has anybody heard it? Yeah. <laughs> but no, some, honest, honestly, critique. we haven't... Uh, I, I wasn't really able to do what I wanted to do with oh, it. Oh, it's on iTunes already? Are you joking? 
Uh, wow. Yeah. I didn't even know you did music. Yeah. I mean, I didn't come to is the show for love. Is that a priority for you on the show to get them to play your music? Because I it know is sometimes now. it's difficult. It is. Like, I didn't know what to expect my first season. Can I play the dirty version? No, you can't play the dirty version on a clean radio show. Oh, but it's so good. Why did you scream at her like okay. that? Like, why? Why did you turn into Daddy and I didn't. Now? I didn't know. That's not one of your children. Okay, wait, listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're only on episode two so far of yeah. this Let's season pl- of Love and Hip Hop. I want to play it while she's here, though. She's gonna email it. Oh, okay. She's gonna email. Give her a second. <laughs> Are you gonna be nice dating anybody new stance. on this season? A um, what? A nice what? The way she sits, you got nice posture. Well, thank you. Then, I went to private school. They taught yeah, us, you nice. know, all that parochial bullshit. Um, no, not right now. Actually, like my focus is my daughter and my career. Is your daughter gonna be on the show? At absolutely all? not. Okay. No, no, absolutely not. And I, if I was like, oh, she's waiting on the reveal to put her daughter on, are you joking me? Right. I would never put my daughter on this ratchet ass show that I'm on, and I can say that because <laughs> here's the thing: people aren't honest about themselves. This is a ratchet ass show. You know, it really got to be using the hell out of y'all. You do know that, right? You know what? Here's, if you can't use somebody, then what are you doing? Like, if she you uses can't us, be we use her. Useless, but it's, it's not it's not a negative way. She's a, this is her business that she's created. She's given us a platform. So at the end of the day, it's like. If you got a problem with it, then you don't need to be there. Has it uh, translated in anything for you, like money? Uh... Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You know, it's open. But you know, to... you can't host parties forever, though. Um, I'm not even talking about just hosting parties. But no. Tell me, T. Listen. First <laughs> of all, if you could sell a product on Instagram, why wouldn't you? Like the way the the world is going right now, social media is a thing. Like that. Like it's so much marketing. Like if you have a million followers, and now the way they do it, you can even look at your analytics you can go to the corner and see what how old your followers are what age mm-hmm. what where they live like matter of fact my you number one in new york yeah my number one supporters are in new york and i was i was shocked at that <laughs> what's up new york i got to it <laughs> where are you from atlanta i'm from heaven I'm yeah chicago, man. i'm yeah i'm from heaven and they threw me down to chicago got you. yeah which is closer to closer to hell that's why you started wearing the waist trainer like for bulletproof no nah, i started wearing the waist trainers because i had a baby oh and Four let's let's be honest my my waist is snatched without it Mm-hmm. However, yeah, your body look good, man. I, I can't do what lie I can for my yeah. people now. I'm sitting around lying <laughs> to people now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, what's the name of the song? Underlay. It's on my SoundCloud. Uh, All right, yeah, there you go. Go to SoundCloud. Okay, what's it's your SoundCloud? King Masika Kalisha. King Masika. Yeah. Spell Masika. M A S I K A. What's Masika mean? It means invincible. Okay. Yeah, and I get a lot of idiots that be like, "Well, I can still see you." And then I walk away and say, well, now. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I walk away and say, well, now you can't. <laughs> you would be, you would be surprised. Underlay? Yes, sir. You would be surprised. Now, this is the song with you and Fetty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Because there's one with eight. Oh, this one right here with 1,100. There we go. How many listeners they got? 1,100. You, you, How long they recommend up? I don't know. That's. I hope this is the right one. You gotta promote that record more. Nah, well, I didn't. I didn't promote it because Anywhere you go. my not? baby father was tripping. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just tell me so put him on child support if you don't play. Yeah, now I got fifty-six no, thousand. My bad. Yeah, don't play me. Um, yeah, but I don't promote my SoundCloud either. I'm about to start though. It's a little, uh, a little raunchy. Were you guys in the studio together doing this? Yeah. That was a clean version. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty version is gonna come <laughs> Not bad. Thank you. It's actually not bad. Thank you. That was a fun record. The dirty version is a lot more fun. <laughs> what you think, Envy? What do you think? It's cool. 
It's all right. It's all right. You trash it. Yeah, it's gonna be terrible. If it was Sierra, it'd be whack. But it's like it's all right because it's you. Really, yeah. really. It's like me saying, you know, well, I mean, I was expecting a lot more, but it's you, so this is okay. No, I was. I mean, I wasn't expecting. I thought it was gonna be whack. I'm gonna be honest with you. He definitely wanted the issue. I, <laughs> I, 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 I did. I just thought it was gonna be whack. It's actually, I. It's actually kind of cool. Thank you. Yeah. We, we yeah. Appreciate it. We did the record in like 20 minutes, really, and no. then I, I went back in and finished. Of course. Did you write it yourself? I, yeah, part? I write everything. Why are you not pushing it more? Um, again, it was it was the situation with him, which is why I didn't. Just tell me you put him on child support if you don't clear the feature. First of all, <laughs> first of all, no, I will not do that because I don't, I don't want to and I don't even need to. Um, but no, nah, it's okay. okay. Were those lyrics for him that you wrote at that time? Nah, not at all. <laughs> like, I, like the, I, I wanted to do like something like a Trina mixed with little Kim type vibe. Like, mm -hmm. like say things that women don't really say but they think. Like right. talking about sucking and eating. Stuff? No, I was actually talking about like putting my vagina in your face. That's that's On what's beeped out. Burns. That's what that's what that's, that's what's beeped out. So <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of wanted to push the envelope and kind of go there and have fun with it. So I I created the hook and he was like, okay, let's go. I like it. Mm -hmm. And so he kind of you know went off of that. Did but, you make him eat your vagina for inspiration? I didn't make him. However, he chose to. So. <laughs> Did he eat your ass too? Really? <laughs> you really? guys, gosh. golly! Right, so can we end this interview so I can watch her go? <laughs> yeah. I'll just right. stand up and spin if that's what you want. Okay. Right? Okay. All right. Let me <laughs> right. get something for the snap. Hold on. One I, second. Well, ah, <laughs> you will not <laughs> Snapchat me that. <laughs> you will not do that to me. Right. Well, Masika, we appreciate you for coming through. Thank you. Are you gonna be fighting this season? Uh, no. I, I, I no. I'm. I am a mother. You have a baby. I am a mother. Mm -hmm. Um, catch me tonight on tomorrow. Well, it's yeah. Well, right. yeah. Never mind. Catch you yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I did yeah, VH1 yeah. Live, and uh, yeah. Act like your vagina got some value, damn it. I don't act like it does, sweetheart. It Woo, does. You there you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, honey. This is not an audition. I already have the job. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> Woo. Masika. Masika, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. They love you. All guests got to walk out before they um. You're so stupid. What's <laughs> wrong with you? This will be new. Right, Thank now. you. <laughs> don't make a <laughs> relapse. Look, you stupid. Can't she get my face? Look at this. Look at this. This guy. How many seconds did you get? Enough for the snap. I look cute. My goodness, it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. If superior hair extensions, clip ins, and tape ins are an absolute must, you have to get the number one rated hair extensions in the world. Her Imports is 100% certified real virgin human hair and trusted by celebrity stylists worldwide. Celebrities swear by our products and now you can too. We now offer financing for our products at herimports.com for a limited time or go into one of our convenient locations in your city. We offer 100% Indian temple bundles that will have you looking flawless for years. Visit us online right now at herimports.com. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.